Hey folks, welcome back to the vlog. My name is Lindsay, and this is Tiny Notes from Home. And I'm here with my three-year-old, Elijah. And Elijah is gonna help me today. We're gonna be making a special cream. It's actually a tallow balm. And we like to call it our cozy cream because sometimes when Elijah would get dry, itchy skin, we put this skin, this, this uh, cream on his skin and it just makes him feel much better. Right, Elijah? You like your cozy cream? Yeah? All right, so join me in the kitchen and I'll show you how to make this. All right, so here we are in the kitchen. We're gonna start making the tallow balm. And before I start making that and showing you the process, um, I just wanna tell you why I started making this and why I use the specific ingredients that I do. Little Elijah here. Elijah, can you, can you, can you wave? Can you say hi? <laughs> he is uh, almost four, he'll be four uh, in March, but about a year ago he started just getting a little bit of dry, itchy skin, sometimes a little bit of eczema on his legs. And this would especially get bad in the dry, colder months, like in the winter. So I started looking for some different recipes online for some uh, skin, uh, skin cream that was good for eczema and other skin conditions. I tried out several recipes, probably five different recipes. And the one that was most... <laughs> Are you saying hi to Elijah? Hi, Elijah. Hi, Elijah. Hi, Elijah. Hi, Elijah. <laughs> Anyhow, the one that was my very favorite and that worked the best on his skin was the one that was made with tallow. So if you're not familiar with tallow or if you think tallow is kind of gross, I'm going to explain to you why it is actually really good for your skin. So tallow is actually rendered beef fat. Um, so it ends up looking something like this when it's finished. Uh, it's just a very white, like solid fat. Um, you can use it for cooking, but it's also really, really good for your skin. There's a substance that our skin actually produces called sebum. And um, I was reading about this, tallow is very similar to that substance. It's sort of like this, the way your skin is like very protective, um, almost like waterproof, you know? It's like, so tallow has that same quality when it's used on our skin. So I think that's really neat. And um, the other ingredient that I'm using in my cream is uh, called rosehip oil. And I had never heard of this before, but as I was researching it, it's also very uh, healing for skin. Rosehip oil has anti-inflammatory properties. So if you have a skin condition like eczema or itchiness, it just helps kind of calm that on your skin. And the third ingredient, this is a very simple cream. Third ingredient is beeswax. So these are beeswax pellets which are really easy for melting. And here's a nice big chunk of beeswax. But this would be a little bit, take longer to melt down. Yeah, so the, the beeswax just gives it more of a hardness and beeswax is also really good for coating your skin and kind of protecting. And then I'm also going to be adding some essential oils to it, um, which also have some good properties for the skin. So. This cream that I'll be making today, I'm gonna to put it in these little tins. And I'm actually gonna be having this for sale. Um, I'm showing you how to make it. I'll be providing a recipe for that. But then if you don't wanna make it and you just really wanna get your hands on some of this, we will be selling it through our website in a few weeks. So you can keep an eye out for that. So I have, a, I made a, a double boiler here. So I have a big pot and it has water in the bottom. It's filled up to about here. And then I just have a metal bowl on top that fits nicely over the top. It's not sinking down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add all my ingredients. And I have these pre-measured out, but I will leave a link in the description for the exact amounts that you can use to make a smaller amount. But I'm gonna be making a bigger amount today to fill up some of my tins. So I'm gonna start with uh, the beeswax and I'm just gonna pour that in. All right, that's starting to melt already. Now I'm gonna add the tallow and this is just gonna melt along with the beeswax here. So it's helpful if you are gonna make this yourself. If you have um, a kitchen scale, 
because the um, measurements for this are not in like cups, tablespoons, they're more in uh, grams. And so if you are able to have a kitchen scale, then you can get your, ex your measurements more exact. And the last ingredient that I'm gonna add is the rosehip oil. And like I said, this has all been pre-measured. So I'm just gonna add that in. All right, so basically it's, it's finished. I just have to, everything's in except my essential oils. You don't wanna add the essential oils while it's heating because they will evaporate off and you'll lose the, the smells and you'll lose some of the properties they have. I'm just gonna gently stir this as it melts down and that'll just take a few minutes. So several years ago when I was a younger mother with only a few small children, um, I really wanted to be able to instill God's word into their minds and into their hearts um, by just memorizing scripture. And I struggled to incorporate that into my day and I didn't always know what was the best way to go about that. But an older mother gave me words of wisdom to, um, to go over scriptures with them just as I go about uh, like daily routines with them. So as I'm giving them a bath or as I'm, you know, even changing their clothing or something like that. And so for Elijah, Elijah's middle name is Shepherd. And so ever since he was just a little, little guy learning to talk, I have taught him uh, Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd. And so sometimes if I'm putting on his, his cream before bed or something, I'll just be saying that with him and you know, that's a way that it gets into their heart and mind, but it's also, you know, a part of a routine and that is just very comforting and very, it provides a lot of security for a child to have those kinds of routines. And so that's been a blessing to me and to hopefully to my children. I hope that will be a blessing to you as well. So this has melted down. It's all one consistency. So now I'm going to add in the essential oils. The main essential oil that I'm using is frankincense. Frankincense is known to be really good also for skin conditions like eczema, dry skin. It just promotes healing of the skin. So I'm going to add in the frankincense. So I have the most of the frankincense. The next one that I'm adding is lavender. And lavender is also known for its calming properties so it has a calming effect as you you know the smell of it but also for your skin and the next one is cedarwood cedarwood also is good for skin if I can get it open there we go. and because I like the way these smell I'm adding orange and bergamot essential oil and these just give it a nice kind of fresh light smell all right, so now I am at the point where I'm ready to just pour this into the containers that I'm gonna be using. All right, so we're all set up to pour our tallow balm, but you might notice I have a new helper here. What is your name? I'm Ezra and I'm 10. That's right, so Ezra's gonna help me uh, make sure that I'm doing a good job pouring. So um, I have my tallow balm here, it's all melted, and I'm gonna pour it into this pitcher. It's gonna make it easier for me to pour into these. So the other thing to note about um, whenever you're using like a balm instead of a lotion, a balm is going to be a little thicker and so you don't need to use quite as much of it. Um, but so a, a little tin like this will last quite a while. This is actually a three ounce tin and this is what we will be selling the balm on our website, uh, Sparrow Song Soap. So is that, is that high enough you think? Did I do a good job? Mm -hmm. All right, maybe you can just kind of pull, pull, pull the little tins closer for me. And right now it's liquefied, but as it sits for 30 minutes or so, it's gonna harden. If you are having like dry skin issues in the winter time, I even use this on my hands a lot because I find that when I'm washing dishes, you know, a lot throughout the day, my hands get dry in the winter. And so this is just something I can keep by my sink and I can just put it on after I'm done washing dishes and it just helps kind of seal in the moisture of my hands. 
And if you've never used any products made with tallow before, you might be a little concerned that it would have a really strong smell. Um, this tallow has been rendered, so all of the, you know, most of the impurities, all the strong beefy smells have been purified out of it. And so it doesn't really have, I don't notice a smell. Um, it, to me, it smells very good. Awesome. All right. So we've got these filled up and we'll let these sit without disturbing them for about 30 minutes. And then we'll just put the lid on them and they'll be, they'll be good to go. Yeah, if you wanna try out some of this tallow balm, go check out our website, sparrowsongsoap.net. And we are not gonna be having this all the time. This is sort of a limited run, um, but if, if people really like it, we might consider making it again. So thank you for your support and thanks for watching. Until next time, God bless you.